What's going on everybody? Today in this video, I want to take a quick minute to show you guys how I finish a bowl. More specifically, I want to show you how I do a beeswax polish on a bowl. The bowl is already finished, it's oiled and dry, and so the last step for me is to give it a good beeswax polish. And I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride in case you haven't seen this method before. It's something I learned early on in wood turning and I think you guys would enjoy seeing it. So let's go. Okay, so there are two main things you need for this finish. I guess three main things you need for this finish. The first one is really, really high grit sandpaper. I have here 3000 grit. Uh, or I know a lot of people also use quadruple steel wool. Either one would be fine. This bowl uh, has been sitting for about 48 hours, so it is very, very dry, um, but there's still just a little bit of uh, burr to it, so that's what the sandpaper is for. Next, obviously, you're gonna need some beeswax. And lastly, a lint-free cloth. All right guys, so what we're gonna do to get started is of course use the sandpaper and we're just gonna gently touch it to the bowl. We're not looking to remove any sort of wood or finish, we're just trying to get rid of all those last little burrs on there. Your sandpaper should barely get anything on it. Once you're done with your sanding, turn off your lathe and check your bowl. Make sure you got everything. Once you're done with that, you're gonna to want to take a clean rag and wipe your bowl down. This is just gonna ensure that you don't have any dust on there and that you are now ready for the beeswax. Now, when it comes to the beeswax, you also just wanna to barely touch it to the bowl. You don't need to apply a ton of pressure to the wax because all that's gonna do is put way more wax on there than you really want. All you're doing is applying a very, very thin wax coat. So all you're gonna do is take your beeswax and just touch it to the bowl. Make sure that you're covering all surfaces, even the rim, inside and out. You will know that the wax is being applied and that it's working when you smell honey. Of course, since this is just pure beeswax, it's gonna smell amazing. And when you are smelling it, that's how you know it's melting and it is then being applied to the bowl. Once again guys, we're not looking to apply a ton of wax to this. If you, uh, if you put a ton of pressure on your wax to your bowl, it is gonna lay down a lot of wax. And that is all stuff that you're gonna wanna try and buff away. So just barely touch your wax to the bowl and lay down a very thin coat. Once you think you've got everything covered, grab another clean rag and now you can start buffing the wax. This is where you want to apply pressure. Applying the pressure is going to ensure that your wax gets pushed far into the grain and that you're getting coverage on everything. Since your bowl is continuing to move fairly fast, the wax will still melt a little bit between the rag and the bowl. That's what you want. That's what's gonna help ensure that every surface gets covered 
with wax. Continue to buff until you see less and less wax coming off on your towel or until you feel like it's at a stopping point. All right guys, I think this is a good stopping point for me. I'm really, really liking the way that this is looking. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit and dry. The wax needs to harden and cure. Uh, and I'm gonna let it sit and dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. The longer, the better. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll come back out and buff it again. And that's pretty much it. That's all that it takes to get this beautiful, uh, and that's pretty much it guys. That's all it takes to get this beautiful wax finish. It's super simple, super easy, and really protective. The things that I like most about it are that uh, not only is the oil on the wood to protect it, but I just lay down a nice thin coat of beeswax to also protect it. And so anything that's gonna wanna hurt this bowl first has to go through the wax and then the oil, you know, and then it can finally get to the wood. So get in your shops, try this out, let me know how it goes. Uh, let me know if you've ever heard of this technique or if you've tried it before. It's a really simple technique, but it can really make a big difference to your work. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you give the video a like. And again, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have used this, if you're going to use it, what you guys think about this finishing technique. I really want to hear your thoughts. All right, be good, be safe, be happy. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!